Today we are teaching you how to take your barbell sleeve from looking like this to looking like this end to get your barbell out with minimal effort. There's a few materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna need your Rogue barbell sleeve packaging, needle nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. But for the screwdriver, you are gonna need a thinner head. It's gonna be much easier to get in those tighter spaces. Comment down below who makes the best barbell and which barbell it is. Starting off, we're gonna be working on the inside of the tube. We're gonna be working on straightening those staples as much as possible as we can. The way to do this is prying up against the metal insert. You may have to try different angles until you get the perfect pry that you want. The thing we want to avoid is having these staples being laid flat. It'll make the next processes much faster. The total amount of staples that you're gonna have to do is five staples. This is just something that you should have in the back of your mind with the next processes that are coming up. The next step is gonna be moving to the outside of the tube and digging those staples out. Starting off, you're gonna be using that screwdriver to dig them out. This may take a few tries depending on how deep they are. Mine were buried pretty deep, so that's the reason for that thinner screwdriver because you can actually dig into it. But if you don't have the thinner screwdriver, what you'll end up having to do is just kind of carve away some of that cardboard so you can get an easier access point. But just make sure when you do get those staples out, that you are keeping track of those because we don't want to lose one and step on one or pop a tire. I found later on it was much easier to pry the staples up from the back side instead of the end of the tube. Because the end is so flimsy, you don't get a very good pry. But just be aware, some of the staples may split in half. I didn't have this happen. Or what I did have happen is one end pops out first so you no longer can use that screwdriver. So this is where that needle nose pliers comes in. You'll just use those needle nose pliers to pull that staple out. If you are enjoying the video so far, make sure you make that like button feel stronger by giving this video a like. After all five staples have been removed, we can actually begin the process of ripping this cardboard apart. The most effective way to think of opening this sleeve is like you're opening a Pillsbury Doughboy crescent roll. To find the correct starting point, you're gonna follow those lines around the sleeve until you get to the top of the sleeve. You're gonna be using this needle nose pliers instead of the screwdriver to pry this up. The reason for this is because we don't wanna push that metal insert back into the barbell. It is gonna take a few tries, but you may get the whole cardboard to start or you may just get a piece of it. If you do get a thin layer, just go back to where you started, either use the pliers or the screwdriver to pry the rest of that up. And then from there, you can either use the pliers or your hands, pull the rest of that all the way through. And you don't have to do the whole entire barbell sleeve. You just have to do enough so you can actually grab the barbell itself and pull it out. Now that you have a new barbell, make sure you understand the proper maintenance of an Olympic barbell. Also, here's a video that YouTube recommends you watch next.